Hello everyone, I'm John Lamb, Bandmaster of the Canadian Staff Band, coming to you on YouTube. It has been 179 days since the Canadian Staff Band played uh, for anybody in a live setting. And uh, during the course of the pandemic, it became clear to me that it was time to reunite our Staff Band community. And um, by doing so, we very, very safely with the right protocols divided the band up into three groups called this band, that band, and the other band and decided to record some light items that would be reminiscent of what you might hear at a summer music camp, which we did not get to attend any of this year, except virtually. So we hope that you'll sit back and enjoy and just imagine yourself at your favorite divisional camp and uh, have some fun listening to our three groups play. We have some soloists as well. We hope you'll enjoy. So when i was uh, thinking of programming for this concert i found myself in a little bit of a creative lapse in this uh, pandemic so i did what anybody would do on a game show i called a friend for advice hey philip how you doing not bad hi john so how's your summer been pretty good yeah it has been yeah yeah you know yeah. I've really been missed. One of the things I've really been missing is, is is camps. Did you miss going to camp this summer? Yeah, I did. Really did. I know. Yeah, it's been terrible. So, listen, I got the staff band doing these kind of like mini concerts with, you know, we've divided up the band into three small groups and stuff like that. Yeah. And we're trying to put a concert on YouTube. And I don't know, this pandemic has really affected my creativity. And I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time getting ideas of what to record. So I was thinking, Maybe we should record some camp music that people would be looking forward to hearing. And I was just, what, what, do you have any advice for me on, on what a good camp march would be that we would record that people would like to listen to? Starlight, maybe. You think? Is that a good one? Yeah, it was written by Eric Ball. Yeah? Yeah, you could be on something there. He writes, he writes pretty good stuff. That's a good point. Yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna write that down, okay? Make a note of that. So I was thinking, you know, sometimes when we when we go to camp programs, we have soloists, right? So you know the Canadian staff band better than I do. Um, who do you think would be a good cornet soloist to put in the program if we were going to do that? Marcus Venables. Marcus Venables, you think? Yeah. <laughs> you think he's good enough? Yeah. You think so? Okay. All right. Well, Philip. You've been really, really helpful because uh, we really want to put, you know, just a simple little concert together. And uh, I knew I could count on you for advice. So I'm going to let you go and get back to planning the concert. But before I go, I just got to say something. Yeah. I really like your glasses. Thanks. All right. Great. Thanks, Philip. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Good evening. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for this breaking news update. I'm Simon Hopkins. We go live now to virologist and epidemiologist Dr. Parexia Hemoglobin, live in the Canadian Staff Band press conference room. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, we have been working tirelessly over the past few months to tackle the medical challenge thrust upon us known as the COVID-19 virus. We have had to face many, many challenges on this journey and have dealt with issues as they have presented themselves. There are still obstacles to overcome. But I am excited today to share with you some exciting and very positive developments with the obstacles that still remain a concern. As you may be aware, we've had shortages of PPE throughout this battle. And although we have ramped up production of this necessary equipment, we are still on the lookout for companies and organizations to come up with creative ways to adopt current products, not initially created for this purpose, but nevertheless, with some adaptations, can serve this purpose. A certain presentation shown a few weeks ago by the CD Sergeant from the SWAG Research and Development Department from the Canadian Staff Band, or Sharadsib, one William Way caught my attention. I contacted Mr. Way and asked if his department would come and help. He and his team eagerly agreed to help, and I invited him here to come today and share the results of their work. Mr. Way? I just want to begin by saying what an honour it was to receive your call and what a privilege to work on a solution to this problem and how excited I am to share with you the solutions which we have developed. During Canadian Staff Band concerts, many of you will know that we have various items for sale to the wonderful people, our audiences, who are in attendance. We have adapted many of these items to perform the function of PPEs so that your purchase of these items will not only satisfy you as they perform the duties they were originally designed for, but will also provide protection in their new adapted roles. Let me demonstrate. And actually, for these demonstrations, I would kindly request if Dr. Hemoglobin could come and help me demonstrate. So, first off, we have the T-shirt. Thank you very much. You see, this is a CSB T-shirt. Well, in its new role, it can function as a mouth hand covering. Let me demonstrate. So, Dr. Hemoglobin, we just place it over the face, and there we go. Maximum protection, and if you need to see, just a little pull down and we get the old eyeball just watching there, okay? So that is a function of the uh, T-shirt as a mouth covering. Now, of course, when we're out in public, sometimes we don't want to risk infection through the hand. So, uh, Dr. Hemoglobin, if you would please Place your right hand here, thank you very much, and your left hand here. And you see now you're able to manipulate doorknobs, uh, keypads, anything like that. And this is the function of the new mouth hand covering from the CSP. Next, thank you very much. We have what I would call the heavy duty mouth covering. Now there is a big concern about singing and the fact of the aeros aerosol disbursement from singers. Well, I think we have it covered here, folks. This is the Canadian Staff Band swag bag, but now known as the heavy duty mouth covering for singers. So if we place this over the singer's head, Dr. Hemoglobin, would you like to sing something for us? A couple of notes? La! Exactly. No disbursement at all, and we are safe. Now, if you would rather use it as a mouth covering, but as a hyper protective face mask, suitable actually for eating. So we place the bag like this. We tie it around. Now I haven't any food here to demonstrate, but let me show you that you have maximum room for food. So you could put your food in here and then go num, 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 like that and eat your lunch. Maximum protection, very multifunctional and very reasonably priced. Oh, 
may I have that back. Thank you very much. Now, this is something that you may find an issue with when you are in a maximum protect mode. Sorry. How will you communicate? Well, we have something for that as well. May I have your right hand, please? Put on your finger. The handy dandy was known as the Canadian Staff Band name tag, but now its new role is nonverbal identification device. So you can write a little note here, and when people come up and say, who are you? You can go, Dr. Hemoglobin, okay? Now, this was and is still a Canadian Staff Band pen. However, for its adaptive role, it is now known as a nonverbal communication device. What you can do is write little notes as you are in maximum protect mode. Also, if you're out and you need to activate a keypad, put this in your hand and then you can do the keypad thing. Non-touch, total safety. Thank you very much. Now, in the past, I have been inundated with people saying, what are the function of CDs? Well, I know we have iTunes, and a lot of music goes on iTunes, but you know what? In times like this, the CD case has come into its own. Let me demonstrate. Oh, sorry, uh, doctor. Let me just take this off here. Thank you very much. Now, face shields. Face shields are a big thing and again is helpful for protection. How would this work? This is a CD case. No, my friends. This in its adaptive role is a face shield. Let me show you. Now, the issue with the face shield, doctor, would you please just attach this to your head like that? Issue with the face shield. No, the hair, the hair. Oh, the hair, <laughs> sorry, okay. We have a toque. Now, we are in the process of getting toques manufactured. I just brought a uh, different toque, not produced by uh, Sisbusvis. But anyway, um, we just put the toque on like this to secure the face shield. How are we doing there? Very secure. How are you feeling there, Doc? Very safe. Look at that. Maximum ventilation. Fantastic. And you feel secure? I feel and secure safe? and safe. Yes. Now, here's the other thing. Now we just leave that. We need to be protected. What about small children? We have to be very careful and concerned about the children and pets. So, what do we have here? Um, if you could have the, uh, yes, thank you very much. So let's say, could you hold this please? Let's say you have a small pet. How will you protect the pet? Well, here's what you can do. This is a cassette case. And believe it or not, we still have some of these suckers in stock. Come in and very handy now. So you take your little pet here, and then you put the cassette on top of the pet's head, and now we have an improv improvised face shield. Now, Bill, I heard that dogs can't contract the coronavirus. That is correct, because they have their new adaptive PPE device from Canadian Staff Band. Thank you very much. Now, one last thing we have. We have procured from our suppliers a stock of size appropriate uh, apparatus in which we can use to protect small pets or premature babies. And what you do is you just, there we go. And you have your pet, our doctor, protected from the corona virus pandemic. I just want to finish by saying that I'm very proud of the work our team has completed and rest assured we'll continue to develop other products as we help battle this pandemic. So remember we at SRADSISB will continue to be vigilant in our efforts to develop new products to help the ongoing battle to wipe out this pandemic. As we begin to open up and hopefully do concerts again please see us to purchase these products and don't worry we won't price gouge. Thank you for that, Bill. You never let us down. Speaking of feeling let down, we are very sad in the Canadian Staff Band not to be able to go ahead with our tour of South America this summer. So with that in mind, 
we thought we would include a piece with a little bit of a Latin flavor. We hope you enjoy David Ama's Joy Dance. <laughs> The next four items constitute a couple of newer arrangements and a couple of favorites from going all the way back to the, the 80s and 90s. The first piece you'll hear is a new arrangement by Ty Watson called Grace. And then we'll hear Doug Chalk play Ennio Morricone's Gabriel's Oboe. And then to a fan favorite, Let There Be Praise. And then to a new arrangement uh, by Simon Goff called Cornerstone. We hope you enjoy.
This next item was something that I requested, especially for our friend Steve Klepke from the Amsterdam Staff Band, who has uh, recently received a troubling diagnosis that has affected his family and the Amsterdam Staff Band, and by extension, all of us in the global community of Salvation Army bands and music makers. I'm in his hands. I'm in his hands. Whatever the future holds, I'm in his hands. The days I cannot see have all been planned for me. His way is best, you see. I'm in his hands. We know this is Steve Klepke's favorite chorus, and so we hope you are blessed as we send our prayers at this time to him and his family and all who would listen.
The days I cannot see have all been planned for me. His way is best, you see. I'm in his hands. Thanks to Doug and Bill for that wonderful reminder this evening that those days that we cannot see have been planned for us. You know, in life, sometimes we find ourselves on the mountaintop, and other times we find ourselves in the valley of the shadow of death. We're going to present a song in just a moment called Highlands, Song of Ascent, originally by Hillsong United, that simply says, I will praise you on the mountain, but I will also praise you when that mountain's in my way because you're the summit where my feet are. So I will praise you in the valley all the same. Let that be our prayer tonight, that when we find ourselves in the valley, that we will recognize that he is the summit where our feet are. We're always on the summit, even in the valley when he's with us, because his way is best. Does your 
kindness extends the path from where your feet rest on the sunrise to where you sweep the sinners past and oh how fast would you come running if just to shadow me through the night trace my steps through all my failure and walk me out the other side for who could dare ascend that mountain that valley hill called calvary but for the one i call good shepherd who like a lamb was slain for me Ooh, I will praise you on the mountains and I will praise you in the mountains in my way you're the summit where my feet are so I will praise you in the valleys all the same no less God within the shadows No less faithful in the night leads me astray You're the heaven where my heart is In the highlands and the heartache all the same The valley of death I'll sing through the shadows My song of ascent And whatever I walk through Wherever I am Your name can move mountains Wherever I stand And if ever I walk through The valley of death I'll sing through the shadows My song of ascent my song of ascent. Whoa, whoa. My song of ascent. Whoa, 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 whoa. And from the gravest of all valleys come the past. A mighty river flowing upwards from a deep but empty grave. I will praise you on the mountains, and I will praise you in the mountains in my way. You're the summit where my feet are. So I will praise you in the valleys all the same No less God within the shadows No less faithful in the night leads me astray You're the heaven where my heart is In the highlands and the heartache all the same So I will praise you on the mountains, and I will praise you when the mountain's in my way. You're the summit where my feet are. So I will praise you in the valley all the same. Thank you, Cameron, for this reminder. Echoing the psalmist's words, if I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will hold me fast. Psalm 139. You're always there. It's mind-blowing. 
or to keep with the poetry of the psalmist as translated into English. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like day, for darkness is as light to you. Friends, there's no escape from the overwhelming love of God. The Lord is my shepherd, defender of his sheep, so that even when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, because I know you are with me in times of uncertainty. Hold on to that truth. Keep on believing. Commissioner Lucy Millward Booth Helberg wrote, When you feel weakest, danger surrounds, subtle temptations, trouble abounds. Nothing seems hopeful. Nothing seems glad. All is despairing. Everything's sad. Keep on believing. Jesus is near. Keep on believing. There's nothing to fear. Keep on believing. This is the way. Faith in the night as well as the day. In Daniel chapter 3, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, in defense of their decision not to engage in idol worship and to receive their punishment rather than bow down, said, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you on this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing fire, the God we serve is able to deliver us, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Faith in the night as well as the day. So I will praise you on the mountains, and I will praise you when the mountains in my way. In 1 Kings chapter 20, there's this wonderful story of Israel at war with the Arameans. And the officials of the king of Aram advises him that Israel's gods are the gods of the hills, and this is why they are so strong. But if we fight them on the plains... Surely we will be stronger than they. And scripture tells us that Israel looked like a small flock of goats in the valley while the Arameans covered the countryside. Then the man of God came up and told the king of Israel, this is what the Lord says. Because the Arameans think the God is the God of the hills and not the God of the valley, I will deliver this vast army into your hands, and you will know that I am the Lord. Friends, we serve the God of the hills, and we serve the God of the valleys. Be encouraged in that. And may the peace of Christ rule in your hearts these days. To conclude our time together, the Canadian Staff Band will play All to God, composed by Jeremy Avery and originally written for the youth band at Meadowlands Corps. It features the song, I Make a Full Surrender. Lord, I Make a Full Surrender. Along with the more contemporary song, I Surrender All by Phil Lager. As you listen, Think about where you are in relationship to the God of the hills and the God of the valleys. And may you hear once again a call to make a full surrender.
And with that, I want to thank you for joining us. We hope you were blessed by our little concert. And we will try to do this once a month. So you can look forward to the next one being in early October as we celebrate the Canadian Harvest Thanksgiving. Until then, stay well, be safe, and God bless.